Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a semi-easy method to kill Marget the Fallen Omen. So this is like the first big boss you're going to end up fighting. Um, there's a couple of things you want to do first before you get it. Obviously you're going to want to summon Rajir the Sorcerer who's right here. Um, but also you're going to want to get a shield that has 100% physical damage negation. Um, the one I got is from the knights right outside of the gate here. Um, basically, I killed them over and over and over again until someone dropped it finally. Basically, the reason you want this is so that you don't take any damage when you're blocking the boss's attacks. So, um, by doing this, it will, ju it will just take all your, not all your stamina, but it will take your stamina away, but you won't take any damage. Uh, also, you're going to want to get the Spirit Summon Jellyfish. Spirit Jellyfish Ashes. You want to use that right when you get in here. The point of this is that eventually, assuming it doesn't die, the boss will get poisoned from the jellyfish. So, another thing you want to do, I mean, it's going to take a few tries to learn his moves, but I'll try and explain them. Usually when he backs up like that, you'll see he throws a... I don't know exactly know what it is. It's like a little dagger. But the goal is to do enough damage with you and Rajir to um, stun him so you can get a front stab right there. So if he charges up like that, that move does a lot of damage. So you just want to, if you see him charge up, put his staff up really high. Just back up for a little bit. And then um, go back in. Once you give him to 50% health. He pulls out the big golden hammer occasionally. There was that one move again, but he also went right into a dagger attack afterwards. Uh, once you get into un under 50% health, I would recommend staying close to him. Because if you're far away, he will do a leaping sword or leaping uh, attack with his hammer that like can one shot you. So. So he does that combo, which is really hard to avoid all the hits. Uh, you can see he's poisoned now. He's got the green glowing around him. Um, doesn't matter if Rajir dies, you can still do his quest line. Basically, that's what you want to do. If you have the Uchi Katana, you can either go find that, or you can... Uh, if you start as a samurai, you can get that and use the unsheathed ability to do extra damage. So. Uh, hopefully this helped, and if uh, you liked the video, we're going to post some more, so keep a lookout for more boss guides for Elden Ring. Thank you.